Are you bored? Need something to do? Tired of doing the same thing over and over and over? Well, have I got something for you. Why did you do that? A PVC air cannon. <laughs> a very oh. cheap and effective source of entertainment. Oh. Why did you do that? First things first, materials. You're going to need two different size diameter pieces of PVC pipe, one for your barrel and one for your chamber. Then an air, uh, an end cap for the larger size diameter, reducers to go from the larger diameter to the smaller diameter, and a regular PVC ball valve for the smaller diameter. Also, a stem valve to put your air into to pressurize it. And in order to get that in, we're going to need to drill a hole, so a drill and an assortment of drill bits, depending on what size your stem valve is. Saw is very helpful, and obviously PVC cement. And if you're not in a well-ventilated area, a mask is a good idea because the fumes with this are pretty intense. Your first step is going to be drilling a hole in the end cap for the valve stem. So let's find something that is somewhat near the diameter, as close as you can get. It's going to be pretty big. And that seems pretty close. Now for the tedious part, actually drilling that. This could take anywhere from 2 to 3 minutes to 15. After you drill your hole, check to see if it fits. In this case, it's close, but not close enough. You need to be able to pull it all the way through so it has a perfect airtight seal. Airtight is what we're going for. So, just do the only thing you can do. And There you have it. We pulled it right through. Fits. It's snug. Not going anywhere. End cap. The next thing we're going to do is assemble the chamber for the air in our air gun. We're going to take our end cap with the valve stem in it and just go it right onto the end of this. Just going to take our PVC primer, or not primer, cement. And very generously apply it to the inside of the fitting and to the outside of the pipe. Very, very crucial that you do it to both because if you just do it to one you might not get an airtight seal. Which could cause an explosion, do some serious damage to yourself. So after you put it on, hold it tightly under pressure for a few seconds until it hardens enough to hold itself there. As you can see, it's good right there. Now that we have the end cap on our chamber, we're gonna we're going to go ahead and put the reducers on. Same rules apply. Be very, very generous with the PVC cement, both inside, all the way around, and outside. Might have to dip a couple times. Pressure fit it for a couple seconds. Hold it, twist it to see if it's hardened, which it is, so we're good there. Go for the next reducer. It's a very, very repetitive process with the gluing, but it's necessary. Same thing. And glue it. Don't be afraid to get it on your hands. It does come off. Just don't. <laughs> just don't get it all over yourself. 
Don't get on anything. Don't wear anything you don't want to get blue. But our next step is going to be putting our valve, our trigger, onto the barrel. So, once again, trust the glue inside and outside. Pressure fit. Twist it to see if it's holding and good. You also, when you're gluing the valve, might want to make sure that it actually turns because if you got any PVC cement in there, it could potentially clog your valve, making the whole project fail. Next, we're going to cut just in about two inches off so we can connect this part to the reducer.